afternoon everybody it's Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning uh, I've got a I've took a nice day off today on this lovely sunny day I hope everyone else is enjoying it as always I'm in the garden so if there's noise there's literally a digger right there there he goes right it sounds like the engine has stopped for a minute so I'll try and uh, get this video done and dusted while I can um, but yeah so today's video a uh, very special thing arrived in the post. I have already opened it. Sorry. I just uh, I couldn't wait um, I'll pan you over so you can see what I'm talking about now. What do we have here? So this is a gutter sucker junior now. So everyone's been telling me I should be getting one of these um, Well, I should have got one of these a long time ago um, Yeah, they're always saying why are you still doing the guttering off the ladders blah 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 um, it'll make your roof cleans easier, you know, even doing the driveways and things like that makes it a lot easier. Um, but I just never took the plunge and invested. But luckily, um, Spinner Clean have uh, been emailing me a lot recently and they were just asking a few sort of questions and wanted to know sort of more about my business and obviously about the YouTube channel as well and things like that. Um, so they came up with the idea that they would send me one now. Um, they haven't asked me to do a video, they haven't. Um, paid me or anything like that but they've sent me this free of charge so this is full disclaimer I did not pay for this product um, they've sent it me for free out of their own goodwill um, and yeah they didn't ask me to do a video but obviously I'm gonna do one aren't I um, but I just thought that was really nice of them um, so I just like to say a big thank you to Spinner Clean so I'll do this video and this won't be a review because I'm at my house this is a new build so there's nothing but dust and a few leaves in the gutter in. Um, but over the course of the next few weeks and months as I'm using this thing um, I will eventually put out like a full review um, and let you know if it's worth it or not. Now, I have only ever used a gutter vac once. Um, it was on a roof clean working with Kent Property Cleaning. Um, actually, I'm not even sure if I used it, um, but it looked good anyway. So I've only actually seen one in action once in real life. Um, and he was using the Skyvac Atom um, and it looked like a great bit of kit. And that's what I started thinking. Then I was like, hmm, maybe I should actually get one because they look pretty good. Um, but yeah, now I've got one. Um, so I'll talk you through what basically this is. Again, I'm no squeaky clean Dave. I am a complete newcomer to Gutavax. So if I get anything wrong or anything like that, um, I apologize. I'll try my best though. Um, I, ha I must admit I have had a quick go already just to make sure I wasn't gonna make a fool of myself. Um, but I'll show you a bit closer up and sort of explain what I got with it. Um, and yeah, basically I'm really excited to use so it. You might be wondering, it says got a sucker on it. It doesn't say spinner clean anywhere. Um, I was a bit confused about it myself. Um, it's two different companies, but I think it's the same broad company, if you know what I mean. So I think Spinner Clean own this uh, uh, gut sucker brand also. Um, I think so anyway, if I'm wrong, sorry. <laughs> but um, I think that's the case. So it's, yeah, they own basically the Skyvac and the gut sucker. So yeah, anyway, uh, this is the thing. It's got one of them cyclonic side entry port things, which um, looks pretty good. I've got the little leaflet over here. Yeah. So this will explain things probably better than I can. Um, it sort of basically tells you how to set it up um, but it's really really super lightweight as well um, so yeah basically get all your little instructions with it the filters what to do if you lose suction and it stops working all of that which is nice nice and handy um, so a little bit about the sort of machine it's got these little clamps here to take the top off these feel really really good quality i must admit um, they're all nice and smart and professional i like the color scheme to everything um, and as I said, um, the thing is really, really lightweight. Um, then you lift the top, up, top off. That's what it looks like underneath. So you've got all of that. Looks all very nice, smart and professional. There might be a bit of dust in here because I've used it already. I did try and clean out a bit there. So now this is your filter. So you take filter off. There you go, it's dirty already because I've used it. And then they keep the hose in there, which is nice. So that's the sort of main hose that will feed into the side. It's pretty long as well, actually. It's longer than I thought it would be, which is nice get a bit of extra reach out of it so then that hose then will plug into here um and yeah as i say this is the junior so this is like i guess the smallest one they do um which helped because when i was speaking to um pippa from spinner clean um, i mentioned i was working out of a car at the time so i guess they had the idea to send me a small one that i could fit in the car um which is nice i've got the van now anyway but yeah it still comes in handy because more space the better for me um, and I don't run a full gutter business. Sort of a bit of everything. So if I was only doing gutter clear outs, I think I would um, probably definitely invest in like a, a big industrial one. Um, but because I do a little bit of everything, I think a smaller one for me, um, yeah, is best. Uh, so what else have we got? So we have a little bag of goodies. Obviously this thing is going to be your main thing that attaches to your poles. Um, and then you've got a few different ones. Now that I can already tell judging from clearing out probably a thousand and one gutters in my life 
this thing is going to be very handy because some gutters are so skinny you can literally barely get your, your fingers in there sometimes so that's going to be amazing um and then i think i guess that's just a bit of an extension to it um and maybe that as well don't know um right now let's talk about the poles um comes in a nice little bag for you so yeah it comes in a nice little bag smart keeps everything nice and neat and tidy move back a bit and then here we are so how many have we got here we have got six poles in this one so we have six poles the one with the orange end is the one that goes into the uh the top thing there um i think this um i can't remember what exactly what it is is it 30 feet or 30 meters or something uh i don't know i think it's 30 feet so definitely not 30 meters um we, uh, which is good so i think you probably only use probably three or four of these um for your average two-story gutter clear and then maybe the extra two extensions would be for over conservatories or um three-story buildings things like that now i presume because these actually do look all the same size so i presume you can just buy a few more if you wanted to do four-story properties if they feel quite sturdy and lightweight which is always a plus finally this is really 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 cool um i did not expect this they have also sent the camera inspection kit so there's the thing that will go on the base of the pole so you can see what you're doing um, and look at this thing vac cam that is absolutely wicked that is it's like a little cctv camera isn't it um so yeah they've sent this it's got like a, a charger with it as well um and stuff like that i think it will last about half an hour fully charged which is more than enough to inspect the gutter in on a job isn't it um now i know that you can get um like an actual uh extension pole just that's made for this i think so this sort of like goes on the top of it and you can sort of inspect the cameras with one pole um and then obviously set, get set up to get cleaning with the other ones um but yeah i think you can just attach this to sort of there and see what you're doing as you go um but i'll see i'll figure it out in a bit but yeah that is like really really smart um it's all branded really nicely and everything's sort of neat and tidy and professional looking which i do like so yeah i'll plug it in and uh, you can have a look so this end you've got two ends of this big hose uh this end on with the lines on it this goes into the machine this one goes into the pole there you go that clicks in there really easy and nicely as well now then as i said the one with the with the orange end that's what goes onto this now this one that i've put on here this is sort of a universal one this will fit into most gutter ends and uh, yeah, get them nice and clean. Um, I won't need that skinny one on this. Um, this one will be perfectly fine. Um, but as I said, that skinny one will come in really handy. So that screws in nicely on there. And um, that was actually quite easy to get on actually. So you have all of these rest of the poles with the blue end. So the blue end is the end that goes in to the next extension. So then just like that, you see? Bang, and then we're in, ready to go. So it doesn't go in very far, it's just enough. So that sort of makes me think you're probably not gonna get that stuck all too often because um, it sort of hits the stop gap and then that's it. So there's probably only, I don't know, about five inches there of actual where it goes in. So um, less chance of it getting stuck with grit and stuff, I guess. Um, now they do say you should like lean this up against the wall while you're doing it of the property you're gonna clean it. So I won't talk anymore, I'll just carry on and do what they suggest. <laughs> Cool, so that was, yep, that's four poles all together. One, two, three, four. Um, and that's more than enough to get to a two-story. Um, so if anyone's buying this or anything similar, um, I'd recommend getting the six pole one. Yeah, so four, yeah, get the six pole one like I've got, because now that's fine for stuff like this. Now, if I was working over conservatory, that wouldn't be enough. So the six one would definitely cover that. I'm not sure if the, the six might be the lowest they do, um, but I presume it's probably four just for your basic two-story work. So yeah, I'd recommend getting six, not four. Um, because that wouldn't be enough for, you might get away with a three story with that if you're quite tall. Um, yeah, but over like a big conservatory, no chance, but I could already tell that the next two extensions onto that would be fine. Um, so yeah, right, now I'll plug it in.
Okay, well, uh, hang on, let me make sure you can all see this. The little girls are sleeping there, so I don't want to be too loud. Um, yeah, that is a lot cleaner than I thought it would have been, actually. So yeah, there's uh, barely anything left in it, so that's wicked. Um, I just realised it would have made more sense for me to get the that inspection camera out and do that, but oh well. Uh, right, I'll do the garages now because I know they're pretty full. Um, so I'll just get my missus to film that for me. Um, and then I'll whack the camera on it as well so you can still see how that works. Um, and then that'll be that. Right, so I just failed very miserably at trying to record myself clear that gutter in there. Um, but here's the quality of the camera. Um, so I'm just moving that around now in this, this hand. Um, as you see, the pictures are very clear. Let's turn it around. What the? Where am I? Ah, ah. Anyway, there I am. So you can basically, you could see basically pretty clearly, you know, what you're doing. It's all real time. There's not really much delay on it, um, considering it's like a little Wi-Fi connection or whatever it is. So. Yeah, there's the trees above. There's the gutter in that I've just cleared out. Yeah, it's actually very hard for me to um, like film it and like clear the gutter in and try and film the little screen at the bottom at the same time. So I apologise for that. Uh, but yeah, it works well. Um, I think it would work better on one of those little inspection sticks that I was on about instead of being on the end of the pole though. Um, just because it's easy for it to get knocked on the end of the pole. Um, and things like that. So I think, yeah, basically on a little inspection stick, so do it before the job. And then when you think you're finished, quickly run the camera over everything just to make sure you've got everything basically. Right then folks, that's about it. Um, I hope that's been sort of a good enough uh, video. So if you've never used one before like me, hopefully I've explained it um, pretty well um, so you can sort of know what to expect. Um, but yeah, I'd, so far I'd recommend it. That seemed great. It dealt with the leaves really well on the garage. Um, it's felt quite powerful to me, to be honest. It was sucking up most of the dust, um, pretty much all of it. Um, so yeah, it's uh, gonna make life a lot safer for me. Now I'm thinking mainly for me with the roof cleaning, um, just even the benefit of maybe even going over some sections of roof that were quite difficult to reach. Um, you know, maybe behind chimneys and things like that where I could just stick that thing around it and just suck up basically some of the moss because when you're scraping and there's a chimney below it, moss gets stuck down the back of the chimney um, and it's very hard for you to sort of scrape it out if you know what I mean. Um, even, yeah, and again, I do a lot of roof cleans over conservatories and things like that. Um, clearing the guttering out above a conservatory is very, very taxing um, and very difficult sometimes. So there we go, now I've got that. So thank you very much to Spinner Clean. Um, for sending me this, I really highly appreciate it. I mean, as I said, they didn't ask me to make this video. Um, they didn't even have to send me anything, let's be honest. It's still a relatively small channel, so, um, but massively appreciate it. It's definitely gonna upgrade my business um, to another level as well, um, because believe it or not, there is some jobs that I have had to turn down in the past, some guttering jobs and things like that. Now, even if the previous video to this one, um, if thank you to all the new subscribers, by the way, that have come from that video, um, the driveway with no drainage, um, this was actually at home, but I was saving it for this video. So if I had this there, I could have just basically sucked all of that water out instead of having to run backwards and forwards with a bucket for um, like an hour uh, to get rid of it all. So yeah, now the only thing left to do is after you've done a day's work with it, um, yeah, is rinse all the poles through with water um, and clean out the uh, the base of it as well, um, just to make sure you get rid of the dirt buildup and things like that. And maintain the equipment if you look after it it's going to look after you so thank you very much for watching everybody thanks for all the new subscribers and the 
the long time subscribers as well that have been here since um, September last year um, you know and even in the last couple of months it's uh, the channel's grown so quick so I'm really appreciative of it um, now if anyone needs any certain videos from me if you want to know um, anything in particular basically just give me a shout and I'll always try and make a video on it if it's going to be sort of worth it or I'll basically just compile loads of little things into one big video um, yeah just let me know but again thanks for watching everyone cheers have a nice day